guys, what's up? It's Disney Nuts. And Gilda. And today we're at City Works here at Disney Springs to try out this place at the end of the Disney Springs here. And uh, let's go outside and check it out. This place is huge. You got the Q code for the food, the beer, and the drinks. There's three different menus. Look at that. Definitely going with the flights for the beers. That way we try a little bit of everything because they have so many up here. It's in, it's it's crazy. So I'm gonna go with the backyard flight, which is these four beers, and Gilda's gonna go with what the food flight. Okay. For appetizer, we're going to actually go with the cheese curds, which is white cheddar, corn, meat, battered, smoked tomato, colas, V's. They got, obviously, besides the uh, the appetizers here, they also have soups, salads, a bunch of them, the tacos, and the hamburgers, which is what probably I'm going to have. I'm a hamburger type of guy. Have the strawberry orange mimosa. Go ahead. Mimosa. I'm not surprised you like that one. Oh, wow. This is so good. Oh, my God. That's nice. Very good. It's fruity, but good. It's That's an excellent beer. 20 out of 10. Glass Palette Goose Island Beer. Oh. I think you hit it on the nail on this on this flight. Oh, this is so good. And Ace Pineapple Ace Cider. Oh, wow. Oh my god, this is so good. It's like they, they hit it on the nail on all of them. One more. Let's see what happens with Let's the last one. Let's see with this one. Ooh. Yep. I, I don't want to tease you guys, but this is like so good. I am, it, I am amazed. These beers are insane. It's so good. 20 out of 10. Very good. All of them. So let's go ahead and start to the left, which is the Key West Sunset Ale. Nice, nice. Like, very good, tasty beer. No complaints. The next one is the Orange Blossom, so I'm hoping for some orange in this stuff. Yeah, a little more sweeter than the other one, but it's good. These are really good. And then the next one is the Sunrise City. Yeah, uh, it's okay. Okay. It's okay. Yeah, I'll let her have you try them as well. Like a little more on the salty side, if that makes any sense. Yeah. And then the last one is the Sandy Feet American Wheat. Yeah, these are good. Yeah, they're all good. They're, they're, they're very similar, to be honest with you. Maybe it's just me, but they're like very similar in taste, not as like the fruity ones. Yeah, no, as you can these, see, even by these the are all different. Yeah, no, this tastes very similar with the exception of the Sunrise City, which tastes probably a little salty, salty if that makes any sense. I want to try that yeah. one. Hold Let's on. go ahead. Let's get Gilda's opinion. The Sunrise City. Give it a try. Okay. That is really good, though. Yeah. But I want you to then try the next one. Yeah, this, this, this one, this, which this is more one. like the regular, regular beer, if that makes any sense. 
Okay. Yes. Yeah. You see what I mean? The yeah. This one tastes like a little bit more. Yeah. No. Got a little more edge to it. Yeah, that one is a little bit more edgy, like a, um, I don't know, wood flavor. Yeah. I guess. But it's really good. I like that one too. Well, Gilda has offered me to try one out, so I'm gonna go ahead and try hers out. Say at least one or two that she lets me. You yeah, like you, you like pineapple? Yeah, yeah. Just this one. Yeah. Try it. Right? Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. To be honest, I wish I would have done that that flight instead. Yeah. And you got like the more flavory and then flavory this stuff. one, this one is strawberry orange mimosa. Try this one. Oh mimosa, I know you love that one. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, they're so different. Yeah, yeah it's like a really completely different. different and then flavors. just one is the Bruce Key slider. Okay. Oh, that's nice. Right? What that's that's really good. I like that one the best. You really? Yeah. Try this one. Lost palette Goose Island. Okay. That's really good. Okay, so our cheese custards have officially arrived and look how cool it comes in like in a little basket. Yeah. Little grilling basket. And I got the little dipping sauce on the side. No dipping? No dipping gilda? Now I'm gonna go ahead and try the dipping sauce. You try it first. Yeah. It's like um the sauce is like little tomato, tomato sauce, but not too strong. So okay. it's not spicy. Okay. The sauce isn't spicy, so but it's good. Makes for a good good combination. That is the orange blossom. Yeah, like do you right? Like all these beers, they're like similar. Um there's not like a really I big difference. I didn't know that one. No. Now. Okay. It's, it's okay, but it's not great. Yeah. I like this one the best. Yep, that's the uh, sandy feet. And believe it or not, I like the salty This one. Ones. Oh yeah. no. Yeah. Well, I more, did. more than well, welcome have it. <laughs> and the texture of this is really soft. It's not like a mozzarella or anything like that. So it it it, it literally melts in your mouth, which is really cool. Okay, so Gilda has graciously offered the, the pineapple one over here to add to my side. Yeah. And she's getting the, the one that was the Sunrise City, the one that I wasn't a fan of. So He doesn't like it, I do. She so. likes it, so that's fine. We can switch. It's allowed. Gilda's trying to ask one of the team members here if, uh, if it's football season because they got a bunch of uh, football going on and we don't yeah, know what's going on. everywhere, like in all the things. Um, is it football season? Is it a rerun? Like, guys, I'm sports illiterate. Help a girl out. I have no idea what is going on because they keep on clapping. Are they exactly. clapping because the rerun is there or are they clapping because it's live and he did something? It's just in case, it's January, so I don't it's know. It's January, so what happened? Okay. The green and yellow team is the Green Bay Packers. Okay. And the blue and white team is the Los Angeles Rams. Okay. So this is the playoffs. Yeah. And so there's about two or three more games left in the season. Okay. So. The bacon is like well done, like really, it's thick bacon, but it's really, really good. Awesome. I did mine medium well. And there we go. Look how awesome this looks. I'm and look at that slice of bacon. I want you to see how thick this thing is. That is crazy. Sorry, I didn't have lunch, so I'm starving. A plus. Yeah, and the fries are awesome as well. They got a little bit of condiments on there, but they're great. They're really good. So A plus, man. This is really good, and it's cooked medium well, which is how I asked for it. So I'm done with two of the. Uh, Light beers. I'm going through these ones. I have one and a half, but I'm gonna order one of the wine tabs because I want to know how it tastes. Okay, so we're almost done here, and I just cannot finish it to be honest with you. The bacon is so thick. I had to give one of them to Gilda, and and I just can't finish it. It's just, uh, but it's really good. But it's a lot. So the burgers are huge. So just to give you a heads up, we're not experts on beer or anything like that. But Gilda does bring up your point that after you've had the food, 
and have the wines, you do have like, um, you know, it tastes a little different, the thing. So probably that's the basics, but since we're so illiterate on this stuff, so just for you to know, she likes now the beer that I thought that was a little salty because she ate the burger and she says now it's fine. Yeah, I ate it, I drank it, it's gone. It's gone, there you go, so. Yeah. But funny enough, the strawberry um, mimosa one, orange mimosa, tasted different after the burger and the fries. Okay. So something for you to keep in mind. Yeah. And there's probably some biology there, and I'm sure somebody can tell me why Correct it is. Us, and yeah. I would love to hear it. Just so, so if you know, comment. This is delicious. That is heavenly. It's really good, guys. Talk. Oh. You know what you're clapping for? I'm going to order the very vanilla caramel cream pie drink, which is one of them that have rotating, so I thought it would be nice before, um, while we wait for our dessert, to have something with vanilla on it, because I know that we both like vanilla, so should be here in a couple of minutes. And this is the progress on my glass. It is very good. That whole wine cap thing, excellent. Excellent. Wanna let the lady test the fur and get her honest opinion. Bottoms up. Bottoms up. Wow. Is there any drink in this place that is bad? Let's see. Oh, that's so cool. It's it's really weird because it's like a it's like a beer, but you got also like the yeah. like the vanilla syrupy flavor. So yeah, holy smokes, mm -hmm. this is really cool. That is really it's good. Really cool. I'll share it with you, honey. I'll share it with that's you. That's okay. I'm you still working on my okay, wine. That's fine. But this is this is really good. Yeah. That's that's crazy. Right? <laughs> it is so cool. Is that God? Let's see. Mm. Mm -hmm. So what do we got? We got the skillet. It's like a... It's a cookie. Cookie on the bottom. They have put vanilla bean on the top and then whipped cream. I don't understand. Is there anything this place, this place can do that it's wrong? I, so far, I have not seen anything. I have gained probably like 10 pounds of this. And honestly, they have been worth every inch, every one of them. It's got that whole cookie thing on the bottom, which is, it's warm. And you got the nice cold ice cream on top with the whipped cream. It is just, and I'm suspecting the skillet is probably keeping it warm, and it's just, it's a perfect dessert. What do you, don't you agree? It's just, this is sinful. Yeah. So the time has come. Of course. Slide that over there. Always, always. What do you think? Oh, that place is fantastic. Agreed. Um, every, the, all the beers are amazing. They yes. have so many. They have like 90 of them. So it's impossible to try them at once. But definitely you should like at least come once to try it. Um, it's amazing. The food is amazing. Our waiter, John. John, if you're watching this, you were fantastic. Yes, it was perfect. Everything was spot on. He explained a bunch of stuff. Uh, where, you know, the histories of the beers, everything. It was, His it was perfect. His recommendations were spot on. Yes. So we love you, John. You yes. were amazing. Yes. Um, the food was incredible. The fries are insanely good. Yes, yes. Um, so we totally recommend out of 10, this is a 20. It's yes. a must that you have to go. Yes. Yeah, now this is located in Disney Springs. If you walk towards the Cirque du Soleil, you'll see it. It's right across it. It's right next to the NBA experience. So uh, at first we thought we were going to get more like a sports bar feel to it. But when we saw the menu on it and all the other fun stuff that they had, it was amazing. The beers and the, the, the flights and the, the, everything. the desserts and everything. It was like, oh my God. It it's was like perfect. So spot on. So make sure you put it on your list. Okay, I think that's, with that said, um, I think we're signing out. Me and Gilda here from the Sea Springs. <laughs> Bye. If you like what you saw, make sure to subscribe and hit that button and comment. Until then, stay awesome. Bye. See you. Bye.